नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज ब्रॉट यू बाय मच क्लासरूम एकेडमी इन पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ सेल्स आई विल एक्स डिस्कस अबाउट सेल स्ट्रक्चर स्पेशली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यू कैरियोटिक सेल्स सो इन सेल स्ट्रक्चर्स एज वी नो सेल्स आर लाइफ आई एक्सप्लेन और डिस्कस इट वाई दे आर लाइफ बिकॉज दे डिट ऑल दो एक्टिविटीज दो ओनली लाइफ सेल्स कैन डू live cells can collectively do actually so like they they can move they can respire they can make the food their own food they can store their energy they can create actually convert energy and they can create it so they they can re reproduce i mean they have reproduction power so there are many activities those only cell can do of course many beetles can move but it doesn't mean like they are live because there are many other activities these collective activities which i explained these only cells has second they are small and can't see by eyes yeah cells are usually few micrometer like 10 micrometer to 20 micrometer some are maybe 50 micrometer or 100 but this size is very small which we cannot see by our eyes 1 micrometer is actually 10 to the power 6th part of meter is probably 10 billionth part uh 1 billion 1 million sorry 1 millionth part of uh, the meter so they are very small and they have various shape to see the cells we need microscope because they are small cells are surrounded with jelly like layer it's called the cell membrane or plasma membrane it's made up of the phospholipid and cells has many intracellular organs those held in various activities uh, common examples are mitochondria which use which involved in the energy formation or energy storage it's called powerhouse golgi body which involved in protein transport or protein shortage endoplasmic reticulum which involved in protein synthesis nucleus which is stored nucleic material and divide nucleic material during cell division help to divide ribosome they involved in protein synthesis so there are many cell intracellular organs in eukaryotic cells those are needed for cell survival so here i will explain what is intracellular what are intracellular organs and how they help cell to survive and i will one by one i will explain what they are how they work what is their function in next few videos but in this slide just see there are many intracellular organs inside the cells for example nucleus or nucleolus here yeah, this is some spelling error this is nucleus and nucleolus and the protoplasm protoplasm is actually not organ but but it's very important for cell and it's a part of the cells the protoplasm is a liquid which filled inside the cells golgi body is the another one which involved in several cellular activities and especially it helped in the cells to sort it their proteins and then my transport them to particular place mitochondria is very very important cell organs and many mitochondria are present in one cell they they actually stored energy and that's why they called the powerhouse of the cells endoplasmic reticulum is the structure which started from nucleus and is spread it sometime in almost in 50 or 60% part of the cells that they have finger like protrusions when i will discuss this i will explain and they involve in a protein synthesis chromosomes are very very important part as everybody know chromosome present inside the nucleus in eukaryotic cells and they actually transferred 
hereditary character from parents to the next generation ribosomes next seventh is ribosome ribosome involved in cell uh, protein synthesis and plastid plastid are only present in plant cells there are many kind of plastids and one of the important is chloroplast which help plants to form their food in present of sunlight peroxisome and lysosome lysosome also very important part they call the suicidal bag and plasma membrane is of course one of the very important part of the cells it provides safe to the cells it protect the cells from many things and it involved in several kind of activities which i will explain in the detail in next videos and vesicles and vacuoles and centrosome these are the common intracellular organs in a eukaryotic cells if we will see the structure of eukaryotic cells this is a simple structure here this is one eukaryotic cell and here for example this is i will start from nucleus so this is the nucleus here is the nucleus and inside the nucleus there is also a dense very dense body which is the biggest part inside the nucleus it's called nucleolus and, nu and nucleus has a chromatin network it's filled with uh, chromosomes or with dna i mean i mean filled with genetic material simply say and then endoplasmic reticulum is started from nuclear membranes it's connected to nuclear membranes and and it's it started and it spread it through and it, they have these uh, like uh, protrusion like structures finger like structures and then many ribosomes are attached to the wall of this endoplasmic reticulum so this is called actually rough endoplasmic reticulum and these ribosome when the ribosome attach with endoplasmic reticulum only then they can synthesize the protein if ribosomes for example here there are many ribosomes if ribosomes are free in cytoplasm they cannot synthesize they have no capability to do protein synthesis so this is endoplasmic reticulum and here there are ribosomes those involved in as i explained in protein synthesis there are many mid middle fiber or microfibers or stress fibers and they give the shape to the cells they make the skeleton of the cells actually for example human body has many bones and bones help them to define their body structure similarly this individual cells has some kind of some kind of fibers and they make the architect or a skeleton of the cell this is mitochondria which involve in uh, energy storage or energy formation and then this is cell membrane cell membrane is bilayer membrane actually they have two layers of the phospholipid microfibrils centrosome here is centrosome which involve in uh, in a spindle fiber formation and they help during mitosis to separate or to perfectly divide dna in two two daughter cells and then lysosome lysosome actually involved in several kind of digestive activities they have many many enzymes over 50 enzyme inside the lysosome and these enzymes are basic, very acidic so the ph inside the libos, lysosome is usually 5 or less than 5 however the ph of the cytoplasm is basic it's about 7 so they have huge difference in ph because of the availability of many many enzymes inside okay this is another again i marked in er one i mark er here and then 
and the I mark ER here. The difference only this ER is attached with ribosome. So this is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. And here this is smooth when the ribosome is not attached now. So this is called a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Many vesicles keep on forming in every cell and they took many substances, foods or something or sometimes even infections, many bacteria. And then they, this kind of vesicles goes in and the membrane actually help to make such kind of vesicles. Paroxysome are also present somewhere in the cells and then there are many not many in actually in uh, animal cells not many vacuoles but as I explained in past video plant cells has many vacuoles but there are vacuoles and of course protoplasm is filled throughout the cell here is Golgi body so when the protein synthesize in the endoplasmic reticulum they send to the Golgi body and then Golgi body actually recruit them mature them and then sorted them and then decided where to send and they send as a vesicles, the small vesicles. So these are Golgi vesicles. They help to transport protein from one place to another. So this is the structure, basic structure of eukaryotic cells and these are the common um, subcellular or intracellular organs. Thank you. Uh, for more video and information, please visit our website and you can also write us email if you have any query. And you can track our updates in uh, Merch Classroom's blog or YouTube channel or you can like us on Facebook so you can keep on update any update or any new video.